Hey guys, and welcome back to your next five questions on the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, this is part of the AFQT, so keep practicing so that you can get the score you need to get into the branch of the military you're hoping for. So without further ado, let's dive right into these five questions. So thirds are actually pretty easy to work with. One third is going to be equal to 0 0.33 repeated, because two thirds then would be equal to 0 0.66 repeated, and then three thirds is going to be equal to 0.99 repeated which is also equal to 1. So if I'm looking at this, what is this closest to? Well, 5 and 2 thirds would be 5 and 0.6 repeated. So the answer here is D. So for number 22, we have a regular decagon, which means it has 10 sides to this figure, and they're all going to be of equal length. Now, what it says here is we want to find this angle right here. Well, the first thing you need to know is that a full circle is 360 degrees. Well, if that's the case, and there are 10 slices to this pie, if we look at these like slices for each side, then that means we could take this 360 and divide it by 10, since there's 10 slices, to find out that each slice is 36 degrees. Well, if each one is 36, then in this case, I'm just adding that together three times to give me a final answer of 108. 23 is a question of place value. So if you didn't know, after the decimal point, the way these read is tenths, hundredths, and then thousandths, and so forth going on from there. Well, if this is your tenths, that means you have 0 over 10 there. And if this is your hundredths, that means you have 7 over 100. Now, it does say it's negative 2.07. So we're looking for negative 2 with a 7 over 100, which is answer B. There's lots of ways of doing number 24, but I think the fastest one is going to be by elimination of your wrong answers. So 62.5% is equal to what? Well, remember, you got to move the decimal over twice to get this over to a decimal instead of a percent. So really, we're looking at 0.625. Now, this is more than half because that would be 0.50 or 50%. So that means A has to be out. Also, these are both mixed numbers with a 6 out front, meaning it would be over 600% because that's that's whole number. So the only possible answer here is B. So in high school math, this is an incredibly popular figure called a transversal, where you have a line going through two parallel lines. And when you're dealing with a transversal, some of these angles end up being the same. This Q right here would be the same as this guy here by a vertical angle theorem. And they're also the same down here. So if that guy's Q up there, so is this one, and so is this one. Likewise, P can be filled in in all of the other angles. So when we're looking at this, a straight line is 180 degrees. So if Q here, well, sorry, P here is measuring at 40 degrees, then 180 minus that 40 is going to leave me with 140 degrees for Q, which is answer D. Those were your five videos for today. You made it all the way to the end. In the comment section, go ahead and let me know which branch of the military you're hoping to get into. That way I know a little bit more about the people watching this video and know how I can best help you to succeed. Remember, if you want to see more ASVAB videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I'll be releasing a new one next week for the next five and continuing on after that. Again, thanks for joining, and I hope you found it helpful.